Okay, I'm Sean Halloran. I'm in uh, Penn State University, Department of Entomology, as part of the uh, Center for Chemical Ecology. And my research was on uh, two Ligus bugs, uh, Ligus linealaris, which is a pest of a variety of different uh, crop plants, and a closely related uh, <laughs> Um, another insect, Ligus uh, rubicignatus, which shares many of the same host plants and is, can actually be utilized by a biocontrol agent introduced to control linealaris. Uh, so what I wanted to look at was how uh, feeding by both of these bugs on the same host plants and different life stages of these bugs affected uh, plant volatile release from the plants and seeing if there was differences or similarities in yeah, the volatile blends coming off of those plants. Uh, so what I did was I basically uh, put these put plants in glass chambers and collected volatiles on uh, a chemical absorbent uh, called Super Q and then uh, loaded those onto GC or GCMS to figure out amounts of volatiles and identities of volatiles. And then I used principal component analysis, uh, which is a method of basically uh, reducing the number of dimensions within your data. So you can so you can look at patterns, and what well, you can see if it's basically patterns existing in your data without actually doing other kinds of analysis. And what PCA told me, is, or showed me, is that uh, on a single host plant, in this case alfalfa, uh, different uh, different insect species had differences in the volatile blends. So all of the Ligus linealaris adults on alfalfa clustered together, separate from Ligus rusignatus adults, which are here. So they cluster together separately, which indicates that there's variation uh, between these two the two species uh, at the adult level. Then. Uh, Ligus rusignatus nymphs, which is these guys, this uh, set of data, uh, clustered separately from Ligus rusignatus adults. So that showed on the same plant, the same species of bug, depending on its life stage, had variations in the volatile blend coming off of it. And then I looked at uh, the same species of bug on two different host plants. So this is Ligus rusignatus on sweet clover and alfalfa. And what I found here is that uh, uh, adults, Rubicignatus, clustered together, whether they're on alfalfa or sweet clover. And they also clustered together with nymphs. But nymphs uh, cluster together, sep cluster together separately if they're on alfalfa, which is here, or on sweet clover. So what this basically told me was that the same life stage of the same species will cluster together separately depending upon the, the species of the host plant. So what this is eventually going to lead to is uh, looking at how uh, an introduced biocontrol uh, agent, a, parasit a nymphal parasitoid of these bugs, uh, how effective it is in actually controlling the, uh, the pest species when, it, when that pest species also is in the presence of this non-pest uh, bug. So what, the next step is looking at behavioral assays, determining if, this, if the parasitoid can tell a difference between uh, these two bugs and if it has a preference for them on different host plants, and then determining what those host plants and what those preferences are, and seeing how that affects its, its, effect, its uh, effectiveness as a biocontrol agent. How did you like ESM meeting so far? Uh, it's been pretty good. A lot of good talks. Having to run around a lot to get to all of them, but yeah, it's been fun so far. Uh, would you recommend your fellow students to get to the meetings next time? or What was that? Would you recommend your other students to go to the meetings? Oh, most definitely, yeah. I definitely make a lot of connections at these meetings. Uh, meet up with people I wouldn't normally have known about. So yeah, definitely. Thank you. All right. Thank you.